Around the country, efforts to ban specific books or even whole categories of books are on the rise. Books on race, gender, and sexuality are disappearing from school shelves. 1,500 books banned in schools over the past nine months. Pen America, a free speech advocacy group, reports that since January 2021, 174 education-focused legislative bills were introduced in 40 states. Far more book bans sprouting up all over the country than we ever saw before, more formalized efforts. They want to burn books? Seventeen-year-old Jack Petos was just an ordinary Flagler Palm Coast High School student last November when the book All Boys Aren't Blue was removed from Flagler County School Library shelves. When the book ban came about, all my friends were upset and they felt that their stories weren't being heard. I organized a protest in which students came to the school board and spoke to them directly in opposition to this censorship. And I started a campaign in which 300 books were donated to the county. And I distributed them to students across Flagler County of the four books that were challenged. The book still isn't back on the shelves, but Jack's gone national in his quest to fight censorship. When you're trying to police education and you're trying to, um, you know, remove these books from school districts, you're just erasing identities as a whole. I've seen so much tremendous progress occur here in Florida. And I really fear that's going to be reversed. Future generations are going to have to encounter the same homophobia that I did and I want to stop that from happening. On Thursday, the Florida House passed HB 1557, or the Don't Say Gay Bill. This bans any discussion of sexual orientation or gender identity within our public schools. Students are incredibly angry and ready to stand up. I'm organizing a statewide school walkout on March 3rd at 12 p.m. We will not tolerate attempts to silence people like me. policing our education. Thousands of students left their classrooms on Thursday in protest of Florida's Don't Say Gay Bill. Uh, we are so lucky to have over 25 schools partake in these walkouts in which thousands and thousands of students exercise their First Amendment rights. Following the protests, I called in Governor DeSantis to meet with me to hear a firsthand perspective of how this bill will be so damaging to my community, and he refused to meet with me. The organizer of a student walkout over Florida's Don't Say Gay Bill says he was suspended from Flagler Palm Coast High School because he passed out gay pride flags. It's really frustrating when they teach you in school, you know, civic engagement and standing up for what you believe in and, you know, basic democratic principles and then punish you for exercising those rights and those principles. But then within hours, you know, I received so many notifications and pictures from fellow students across the state with their rallies. And I, you know, I made a decision that night to continue fighting no matter what. This is just incredibly encouraging to see. Students out there fighting for what they believe in, fighting for what is right. Censorship and, and the banned books issues that we champion are issues that transcend politics. These are issues that all of us should be able to stand for. I am fighting for a more progressive future. I'm fighting for an America in which no one will be treated differently for their race or sexual orientation. Gen Z is not going to stand idle as our rights are stripped from us.